Corbin Lensford from Green Dream Group in Chicago. On behalf of the Building Performance Workshop, I'd like to demonstrate the mechanics behind the manometer. These are complicated pieces of equipment, but they are some of the most awesome uh, testing tools that we've got, and there are a lot of different uses for them. They are exactly the same. Even though they look very different, if you're using them uh, and you understand the architecture of how they're put together, you could use any manometer and pick it up in the field and be able to, to do good things with it. So because of the purposes of the video, this is a little easier to demonstrate with. This one, the taps are in the back. I'm going to be using this um, model, which is from Energy Conservatory. This is two machines slaved in one body. So you can think about them as Siamese twins. We've got the A channel with its input tap and reference tap and the B channel with its input tab and reference tab. Each channel has its own readout. If you think about them as Siamese twins, there's a dumb twin, which is the A twin. Uh, the A channel only measures pressure. That's all it ever does. So when you scroll through the mode on any dual channel manometer, you notice that the mode is pressure, pressure, pressure flow, pressure flow at 25, pressure, air handler, things like that. That's because a channel never changes from pressure. Channel B is the smart twin. Channel B can do everything that channel A can do, and then some. So if you need to measure a test with pressure and flow, say, like a blow order test or a duct blaster test, you have to measure flow on the B channel because it's the only channel that does that. Now, the way that we set up the blow order test is that we set the uh, reference tap to outside, right? That's because we're measuring pressure on this channel so that we can measure flow on this channel. The reason we set it on the reference side is because the name of the test tells you what goes on the input side. So if you think about the blower door test, you could expand the name to be the blower door whole house infiltration test. Because the name house is in the name of the test, the input is the house. So since we are standing in the house, we leave this open to the house and we reference outside. Okay, now on channel B, we're measuring the flow. You have to set it up on the input because you want to know what the flow in the fan is on that tap that's in the fan. And again, if you need a, a review on how to set up a blower door, please visit our blower door video. There's another test that we can run that's called the zonal pressure test. This is one of the most awesome tests, in my opinion. This is where we measure the pressure in a zone with reference to the house generally under blower door conditions. Uh, for that, we're going to be running this way. Now, if you get confused about how to wire up your manometer, not only does the name of the test tell you what goes on the input, but also if you say this specific phrase, it will work for you. You teach yourself how to wire it up. I want to measure the pressure in blank with reference to blank. So if I wanted to measure the pressure, for example, in the room with reference to my ear, then I would, on using channel A, measure the pressure in the room with reference to my ear. If you tell yourself, you say it out loud, I want to measure the pressure in blank with reference to blank, you teach yourself how to wire it up. It is kind of a silly game, but I use it in the field. So I hope that clears up some of the mechanics behind every manometer that they make. Please watch the other videos in the series, and if you want to come visit us in Chicago, we'd be happy to meet you. Thanks very much for watching. Tune in next time.